it over. <laughs> Out of the three short films that I made this summer, this one is by far my least favorite. Probably not how you're expecting me to start this video. But no, it's true. I genuinely think that this is the weakest film I have ever made. And I am counting the short films that I made from when I was like 10 that will never see the light of day. Yeah, I'm counting those. I genuinely have no clue why people like this film so much because I, I just I don't understand it because objecti objectively, this is a terrible film. The dialogue is so weak. Like, I wrote it in 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> the only reason that this film actually even exists is because I wanted to hit my three short films over the summer quota. Only reason. And by the way, none of this blame is on the actors, like Den, Soraya, Ava. They all did phenomenal with what I gave them. Because I gave them the script, what, the day of, maybe a day before, but probably the morning of. That's completely on me. And so we had no time for rehearsals whatsoever. They did a phenomenal job with what I gave them, you know, and what they had to work with, which my script wasn't very good to begin with, but they did phenomenal with what I threw at them on the day. And I would never do something like this again because this is why rehearsals exist. Uh, and this is why you give them the script before they show up to set, uh, preferably weeks in advance. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up on that one. So honestly, the blame for the film being bad solely rests with me. I rushed a project that I just wasn't passionate about whatsoever. I just wanted to get the film made, pretty much. Action. To give you a better idea of how rushed this actually was, let me tell you that we shot this the same day of September is the Month of Love. And obviously my priority was on September is the Month of Love. Obviously. So that's why this film fell short. Go. Oh. Are you okay? Okay, but visually, this film isn't half bad. I actually like the yellow flowers being like a pop color on the black and white. I actually think that looks pretty cool. They're probably my favorite part about the entire film, if I'm gonna be honest. Which, of course, leads us into, how did we do this? Honestly, uh, I don't know. It was like a happy accident that had happened in post. I was, I put on the LUT, right? I was color grading, so I put on the LUT and then I put on a second node and I was like, eh, maybe I'll just make this black and white. The color wasn't really looking that good. So I was like, eh, maybe we'll put it black and white to give it a little bit visual interest. So I turned down the color boost all the way down to zero. And for some reason, the yellow stayed, like the yellow flowers in the background stayed and so I just left it because it looked cool. That's the only answer I have. Sorry, I have no clue how I did it, but it, it worked, so... Simple as that. Why is it in a 4-3 aspect ratio? Because it looked cool. The 2.39 didn't look very good, and it just looked cooler in a four by three. What does scene one even mean? It means that it sounds cool. It was cooler than naming it just murder. You put a scene one on there, I don't know, it made it sound cooler. Next question. Is there going to be a scene two? No. Okay. I'm done with answering questions. There were a few more, but oh well. 
Stay tuned for the behind the scenes videos of September's the Month of Love and COVID Choir. Two videos that I'm putting a lot more effort into than this one. Uh, I'm actually pretty proud of those ones. They're going to be pretty good. And so subscribe to make sure you don't miss those ones because those are actually going to be like top notch quality. Not like this one. Those ones are going to be great. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. And okay, bye. You're good.